You know, one of the cool things about this work, this blogging work, and this YouTube work, is you get to travel a lot, and you get to meet really, really awesome people at really, really cool places. So, what's the problem? One of the problems that I have is when I travel, is that I always worry that I'm going to leave something behind. And what happens if I need that one folder, or that one bit of information, and it's back in the server, back in the office? One person who doesn't seem to have that problem is Izzy. He seems to be always on top of things, he's got lots of things going on, and yet he doesn't drop the ball, ever. So I asked Izzy, how does he stay productive when he's out on the road? And today on Tech Tip Tuesday, Izzy shares with us his three tips for being productive, being efficient, even when you're out of the office. So Izzy, over to you. When you run a YouTube channel, it's hard to really take time off. You're sort of expected to be able to put out content no matter where you go. And I've been on the road a lot the last couple of weeks. In fact, I'm not home right now. I'm at my girlfriend's house. But thanks to these three apps I'm about to recommend to you, my work doesn't have to stop just because I'm not at the office. First off, Dropbox. Now, there's a lot of different cloud storage solutions nowadays, and they all offer different perks. I kind of have all of them, but Dropbox is the first one that I use, and it's the one I find myself using more often. Dropbox, in case you've never used it, is, like I mentioned in the beginning, a cloud storage solution. You have access to your files no matter where you go, no matter what computer you're using, and even on your phone, thanks to their mobile app. Now, this serves a lot of different purposes. Usually, what I use it the most for is when I'm away and I'm editing a video on my laptop, and I want to, say, put it on Instagram as a little preview for an upcoming vlog. So what I do is that I render a smaller portion of the video, throw it up on Dropbox, then grab it on my phone using the Dropbox app and then I put it up on Instagram. Dropbox is also a great way to transfer photos back and forth and to save documents in a way that you can access them no matter where you go. I gotta tell you, it gives me a lot of peace of mind to know that I have access to all of my important documents right in my pocket. Now, what if it's not just random files or videos and pictures that you need to have access to, but your entire computer? And yes, this is possible. Again, there's a lot of different solutions for this, but the one that I've been using for the longest is TeamViewer. TeamViewer is a remote access application that basically allows you to control your computer at home from anywhere in the world. And not just from your cell phone, but also, for instance, I have a laptop. Say I left an asset at home or a file I forgot to transfer to a client or something, I can use TeamViewer to log into my machine at home and use it remotely for basically anything. That makes it so I always have access to the entire contents of my computer from my phone if I need to. I Again, there's been so many times, really so many times where I needed to, I'm away or out of the country and I forgot to send an email and there's a certain file that I forgot to transfer over to the people at work or whatever. It's so, so useful. I remember one, like recently, I had to format my computer and I forgot to install TeamViewer and not even three days later, I found myself in a situation where I was like, I really got to install that as soon as I get home because this is you become reliant on having your entire the, the entire contents of your computer in your pocket. Now, I do a lot of vlogs and because of the nature of how the YouTube algorithm works, you're kind of rewarded for putting it out in a timely fashion. You don't want to wait too long to put videos out and this is a problem if you're traveling and you want to travel light. If you don't want to take your editing laptop, for instance, for that trip to the beach, there is a solution for that as well. Now, again, there's a lot of different applications that do kind of the same thing, but I find that this is the most complete offering in any app store right now. This app is called LumaFusion. Now, I will say this, it's not cheap. When I bought it, and depending on when you watch this video, the price might vary, but it was 30 US dollars when I bought it. And again, yes, for an application, for a, for a mobile app, that sounds like a lot, but this is a full-fledged video editor. On my computer at home, I use a software called Sony Vegas or Movie Studio. I think they changed their name because they it's not really owned by Sony anymore. Now they've been they've been bought by a German company called Magix. Anyway, the video editors out there know what I'm talking about, right? Movie studio. And it isn't cheap, like video editors never are, but it's it has a lot of features and I've never been able to find an app that competent, that close to what I use at home on a phone or a tablet like LumaFusion. I have pretty much access to all of the features I would have on the application that I use on my computer and that is pretty remarkable for to be able to do that on a phone, on a cell phone or a tablet. Again, it isn't the cheapest app I've ever bought. In fact, it might be the most expensive app I've ever bought. But to be able to edit my videos on the go like that 
is literally priceless. All right, so that's how Izzy does it. <laughs> Get it? I made it funny. So I'll leave a link to Izzy's channel below. Please go check him out, show him some love. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Check out these other cool videos and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Tech Tip Tuesday. Cheers for now.